Hello everybody, and welcome to Don't Starve. I may have it paused at the moment, but I have a tree guard chasing me. So I just wanted to explain a few things before we get going. You are going to need torches and trees and, you know, basically things you can set fire to. This is how you are going to kill the tree guard. So let's continue. There he is over there, just sort of chilling. Oh my goodness, it took me forever to get him. So we are going to build some torches. Get a couple of them going. Alrighty, Mr. Tree Guard. Do not try and attack him with the torches. I, I tried that. You, you can't set him on fire, unfortunately. It's quite terrible. However, you can set other things on fire and have him walk into them. Come along, Mr. Tree Guard. And this way, you, you do lose a little bit of sanity uh, and stuff, but at least he doesn't kill you. Uh, as long as you're careful to avoid the fire, of course. This is a bit of a big forest. I kind of wish I'd chosen something a bit better, but hey, what can you do? It's definitely doing more damage to him than it is to me. I'm pretty much at full health. Come on, Mr. Tree Guard, let's do this. Normally, I'd be a bit more conservative with my torches, but I have so many sticks and everything, it's fine. And of course, after this, I'm going to have enough for everything. Whoa! Some, uh, some lightning striking. Right, come on. You can use, like, several trees that are just spaced out. I don't really like using so many trees and so many things that are so close together, but I don't really have a choice at this stage. I stopped replanting the trees after a while because it was just getting really, really irritating. The whole idea is just to keep him on fire for as long as you can until he dies. Ow. And preferably not stand in the fire too much yourself. If you're Willow, this will be so much easier. Wow, there are a lot of trees here. Come on. He does eventually die, I promise. It takes a while, though. And this way he doesn't like, break your armor or anything like that. Ooh, I don't even have to use the torches at the moment. I can just equip an axe for now. And of course he's so slow, so he'll never reach you. As long as you make sure to keep away from him. And he's still on fire, he will eventually die. This is my favorite way to kill tree guards. And of course if you have like five of them chasing you, it still works. Apparently he had a bit of difficulty getting around that tree. It's fine, man. It's totally cool. No one's holding it against you. Come on and die! Just, you know, burn! It took me forever to get you to finally spawn. And you can also circle the trees and make him keep fire. You want to keep that blaze on him as big as you possibly can, because I think it does more damage when you do. Come on. Come on. You can even set grass on fire, though I wouldn't. Because, of course, you can't just magically make more and more grass appear, but I have enough pine cones to last me for years, so I feel I'm pretty okay. Come on. Make sure you've got plenty of torches. I have, there we go, he finally died! Unfortunately, all the living logs got kind of turned into ash, so that is a problem. But, on the bright side, he didn't do any damage to me whatsoever. So this isn't really how I would advise you to normally kill them if you're trying to get the living logs. But if you are just trying to not die, yeah, I find it to be extremely helpful. So I hope you enjoyed this little Don't Starve guide. I hope it helps you out. Please click that like button, post a comment, and subscribe for more videos. Cheerio.